The Richest Man in Babylon is a classic that was written in 1926. It is regarded to be one of the best books to have been written on personal finance. The book contains a set of parables written 4,000 years ago in the ancient Babylon. These were parables told by a Babylonian, Arkad, a fictional character of a poor guy who became the richest man in the entire Babylon. In these stories, Arkad shares advice on how to generate wealth and how to protect and invest it. Welcome to Nurtured by Books, a community where young entrepreneurs find ideas from books that make businesses successful. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on insightful content like this. In this video, we are going to share with you 8 of the most inspiring lessons from The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Clayson. Number 1. Pay yourself first. When you look around you, you know friends who spend whatever they earn on liabilities. When you receive your paycheck and buy your Rolex watch to look good in photos you post on social media, you are rewarding the company that made it before you reward yourself. Paying yourself first is investing 10% of whatever you earn in assets that will pay you dividends in the future. Buying a book to learn more skills in your field is paying yourself first. 20 years from now, you will look back and realize that buying shares of stock from a startup could have been the best way to spend your money before buying that latest iPhone. Number 2. Know the difference between what you need and what you want. When you confuse luxury expenditures with necessities, you will always think that your income is less than what you need to live. What you call your necessary expenses will always grow to equal your income. Don't confuse your necessities with your desires. Number 3. Make your money multiply. Invest and to compound the investment return from your 10% savings. It makes no sense to save and then use your savings to buy things you don't need. The earnings it will make shall build our fortunes. Learn to make your money work for you. Make it your slave. Make its children and its children's children work for you. Every buck you save should be considered as a soldier you send to the battlefield to get you other soldiers as hostages. Number 4. Increase your ability to learn. Keep developing your own skills to increase your investing wisdom and also to increase your earnings power. In the words of Warren Buffett, the greatest investor of our time, the more you learn, the more you earn. Attend business conferences, read magazines and books about your field. Earl Nightingale said, If you spend an extra hour each day of study in your chosen field, you will be a national expert in that field in five years or less. If you are an entrepreneur and you want to get better at this game, subscribe to our channel and enjoy more insightful content from the world best books like this one for free. Number 5. Guard your money from loss. Never invest your money in things you don't understand. Take time to make research in what you are about to invest. If you don't, you will be a victim of get-rich-quick scams. Never take a risk for the sake of taking it. Wealthy people only take calculated risks. In the words of Charlie Duhigg, between calculated risk and reckless decision-making lies the dividing difference between a profit and a loss. A chance is what you take before you think about it. A calculated risk is what you take after you have evaluated all possible factors and have determined that risk. Number 6. Ensure your future income. One should prepare for one's retirement in order for one to have a peaceful life during old age. You are not going to be young forever, so it's wise to foresee how your family will survive in the days you won't be able to work anymore. Besides retirement, you can lose your job tomorrow morning or even become incapacitated after involving in an accident. If you have no emergency and retirement plan, you are only one paycheck away from poverty. Number 7. Good luck favors only those who take action. Opportunity is a haughty goddess who wastes no time with those who are unprepared. Opportunities are everywhere but they are only taken by those who are ready to grab them the moment they show up. 
Keep preparing as you wait for an opportunity. And when it shows up, don't think twice, because opportunity rarely knocks twice on the same door. The only lucky people are ones who are always ready to take action whenever an opportunity shows up. Number 8. Pay off your debts. No man respects himself if he doesn't pay his debts. Try as much as you can to avoid bad debts. When you control your spending, you can easily avoid debts. If you have debts, the book advises not to run away from it, but rather face it. Meet your debtors and solicit them to be patient with you. Then get a payment strategy and stick to it. George S. Clayson advises this strategy. Spend only 70% of what you earn, save the 10% for yourself and use 10% to pay for your debts. For the friends who watch our videos up to the end, we have a bonus lesson for you as a reward. Learning how to make money is more important than money itself. According to Arkit, the rich man, a man's wealth is not the money he carries in his purse. It's the income streams he builds that continually fill the purse and make it bulge. You have heard of many lottery winners who became broke in less than a year. And you have heard of rich people who became broke but regained their wealth in a short time. Take time to learn how money works. It is Robert Kiyosaki, the writer of Rich Dad Poor Dad, who said The truth is that money doesn't make you rich, knowledge does. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you have found this one valuable, give it a thumbs up and share it with people you think it may help. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on interesting content like this. Turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload a new video. Check on your screen, we have handpicked two more videos for you to enjoy next. See you in the next video.